Lucky. No broken bones. The moon's huge! I hate that I'm about to do this. Like it's some kind of anime. The situation doesn't make any sense. I fell off of a cliff with a rocky shore below me. <sighs> what would Big Brother make of this? Hmm. Obviously, you got isekai A famous detective once said, when you eliminate the impossible, whatever remains, however improbable it may be, must be the truth. So now, let's follow that logic to its conclusion. If you were dead, you'd lack a sense of self. If you were just unconscious or dreaming, you wouldn't feel pain, fatigue, or hunger. There's no other possibility, right? Okay, let's go with that for now. It all feels real enough. I don't need to pinch my cheeks. For now, I should try to find something to eat. I'll keep on living, for my family's sake. Yesterday I saw a rabbit, yesterday a deer, 
And today I saw you. An unfamiliar ceiling. Timothy! Kianisha? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I don't understand what you're saying. This must be your home. Looks like you saved me. Home? Saved me? Thank you. For real, I owe you my life. <laughs> Colette? Yeah? So her name is Colette, huh? Gara Atiks? Hmm. Thanks for the food. This place feels more like the middle of nowhere than another world. Ugh, my bladder's about to burst! <laughs> What's with that smell? I don't know why I expected a flush toilet. Where's the toilet paper? It's a good thing I was prepared. The pocket tissues I keep on me for times like these came in handy. But I wish there was something I could do about this smell. If only I could get a bathroom air freshener. Not like I'd find one here. Mitsuha! Mitsuha! <gasps> no, it's okay, I'm fine. Thanks to you, I feel a lot better now, see? I hear birds. 
The fauna's not too different from Earth, either. Mitsuha! <laughs> <laughs> she sells seashells by the seashore. She's not she's not by a pea store. Mm, that's one store I wouldn't want to visit. sister <sighs> you have to protect them with your life you do remember that dog was on a leash right and this one i see so Uriyuk means it's edible yeah <laughs> i think i'm getting the hang of telling them apart um if i remember right that means dangerous animals are close by Wait, are you sure? It's wolves! Yeah, wolves tend to hunt in packs, you know. Which means these are probably stray wolves. Or it's a family. But where's the daddy wolf? I hope they didn't get a doggy divorce or something. Crap! What do we do? I have to protect Colette, no matter what! She should be able to hold on to a tree with that superhuman grip of hers. <laughs> Climb up! Hurry! <laughs> on par with a 22 caliber pistol the airsoft nerd saves the day these steel pellets are made for penetration they are the balls of a real man stop talking about your balls and finally a knife that could be passed down for generations a wickedly sharp blade combined with ultimate portability or in other words it's a plain old pocket knife
managed to win. <sighs> well, an unfamiliarite ceiling. A what? Oh, don't worry. It's just a made-up word. It's a combination of white and unfamiliar. Wait, what? Who? Where am I? Good. It seems this language will suffice. Uh, a lucky cat? Like the one my brother gave me? This is a temporary form, but in reality, I am the being you tore away at. I tore away at you? Indeed. Um, so what exactly are you anyway? Some kind of god? <laughs> Not exactly. I am a being who, in the distant past, evolved into a life form composed of pure energy. Sure. I traversed a myriad of worlds, and through their observation, gained the concept of enjoyment. I don't really get it. It just sounds like you're God, but with extra steps. However, as I leisurely wandered through a certain world, I was suddenly gripped by an overwhelming feeling of displeasure and found you as its source. Displeasure from me? The panic you felt as you plummeted from the cliff generated enormous mental energy, which allowed you to wrestle free a portion of my own mind energy. Uh, wait, so that screaming was you? Verily. The part you took then embedded itself within your mind. It fused itself so seamlessly that forcibly removing it would leave you in a vegetative state. Huh? It's not something dangerous, is it? No. Uh, uh, although... It seems you acquired the ability to move between worlds. Are you serious? Yes, similar to my own powers. What? Just like that? I mean, I guess that story would explain how I ended up in Colette's world and was able to travel back and forth between there and Earth. Right. If you can specify an exact location, you have the power to jump there. That's so awesome! This world jumping thing is amazing! Oh, I think my wounds heal faster than normal. I see. You've also acquired healing abilities. Say you were to lose an arm, it should grow back in about a month's time. That's busted! Uh, make that three months. Which is it? Whatever, as long as it heals. Before I go, do you have any questions or requests? Requests? Let me see. Mm. Oh, I know. How about an ability to understand languages? Ah, very well. I'll make it so you can absorb linguistic knowledge from those you speak with. Uh. If that's all, I'll take my leave. Enjoy a long life and good health. Hold on! For the stars have spun tens of thousands of times. I'll come by to check on you. But how many days is that? Or years? Wait, either way, I'll be dead by then! <gasps> Mitsuha, you finally woke up! Huh? Colette, that's good. When you didn't wake up, I was afraid you might have been seriously hurt. I can understand everything she's saying. Thank you again. Sorry for making you take care of me. Hold on, you can speak? Mm. Uh, yeah, so I guess I must have lost my memories before and just now regained them. Thank goodness. <laughs> Thanks a bunch for the food. There aren't any kids around Colette's age, so I hope you'll become friends. But I'm not close to her age at all. Mitsuha? Uh. We can't thank you enough for keeping our daughter safe. What's this? Payment for killing the wolf. Everyone in the village is grateful. That wolf had been bothering us for a while. <laughs> I ended up finishing off the smaller ones after you collapsed. And then we brought all of them home to harvest their meat, fangs, and pelts. So, this belongs to you, for your work. Hold on. Is this gold? What? You don't know about money? Well, you see... My country uses something else as currency. Excuse me, I'm not familiar with this. What kind of things can I buy with it? Huh? According to that voice, I can freely travel between this world and Earth. I wonder what my big brother would do in my shoes. This world is a new frontier. A frontier? And cheat abilities exist to be used. I suppose. One option is to go back to my life on Earth. My parents left behind a decent-sized inheritance, but I'm not sure there's enough for me to pay off four years of tuition at some university. 
In that case, you'll have to find yourself a job. But it's not like I have any careers I'm particularly interested in. <sighs> hey, I could earn gold here. Societies in this world are fairly underdeveloped. If I could bring over modern goods from Earth... There you go! I could sell them in this world and make a huge profit! All right! From goods to gold, it's alchemy! Oh, yeah! Okay, don't get too excited. Uh-huh. Being able to jump worlds is a busted ability. But what if one day I can't? To be safe, I'll need to make sure I secure enough funds so that I'll still be okay, even if I get stranded in either world. But how much? Well... If I had a billion yen, I could probably live to be a hundred in total comfort. So for both worlds, that's two billion yen! I have to earn more gold! Tens of thousands of gold coins! Half a ton of gold! <laughs> Here we go! Behold, me to Ayamino's new life goal! To be totally prepared for my peaceful future retirement, I'm gonna save up two billion yen's worth of gold in a break it down. A few friends and I hopped in a boat and left our homeland. But along the way, I got separated. After aimlessly wandering around for a week or so, I met you, Colette. Must have been a pretty rough time. Wait, so even after going through that, you still protected me from those wolves? Thank you so much, Mizuha! <laughs> okay, that's enough! And a good morning to you. <clears throat> hmm. I took the magic of lighters and matches for granted. <laughs> it is stink city around this joint. These guys need some air freshener. It's the wolf slaying hero herself. Have those wounds of yours healed up well? So. I heard that she crossed the sea to get here. Really? That must have been quite a long journey. I never dreamed someone from so far would come here. Great! A perfect chance to collect some info. I'm glad I did. This place is lovely. What does life in these parts look like on the day to day? <laughs> this land is ruled over by the reasonable and generous Lord Boses. Boses, huh? That's the name of your king? Almost, but he's actually our lord, not our king. His full title's Count Klaus von Bosis. A count? I guess Vaughn indicates nobility in this world. Whenever we have a bad harvest, he reduces the yearly levies without question. Huh? And he's responsible for widening the roads into town. Yes, indeed. Hauling crops and getting back home is much easier now. Aww. He sounds like a pretty nice guy. Not only is he kind, but powerful within the government. Uh, oh, my! He could be the ticket to making my way up in this world. You want to go to the capital? That's quite a ways away. Uh, well, sure. But I promised the friends I was separated from that we'd meet back up there if anything happened. Mitsuha! There should be a wagon setting off for town tomorrow morning. But getting from the Lord's town to the capital would still take seven days at least. That's a long way for a child to travel on her own. It's fine. I'm an adult. <gasps> what, what did, did you, you just say? say? Uh, 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 how funny! Yeah, good one. <clears throat> I'm an adult. <laughs> Please, if you're an adult, then that would make us a couple of old geezers. Yeah. In my country, I am, in fact, considered an adult. <laughs> if you say so. The world is a big place. Huh. What time does this wagon you speak of head out? Huh? I told you in the morning. Yes, but what time in the morning? <laughs> morning is morning. <sighs> Charmingly vague. Don't go! Uh, how much did you hear? No, no, no! It's not there at all! You can't just abandon us now, Mitsuha! Don't throw a fit, dear. <sighs> I'm not! You shouldn't give your friend a hard time. sad about leaving too we really bonded that's what happens when you get through a sticky situation together mitsuha i'm only alive right now because you rescued me colette and i'm forever grateful Aww. though 
I hate to go. I have to try my best to find my friends. If things are going to plan, they should be headed to the capital to try and find me too. But I... I promise. One day, I'll come back just to see you. Oh, God, oh, no! You're a smart girl, so I'm sure you know nothing you say will stop me. Please cheer up. <gasps> I'd love if you could send me off with a big smile. Whenever I think about you from now on until we meet again, I'd like the first memory that pops into my mind to be a happy, smiling one. Smiles are way better than tears. such as this get away. Mm -hmm. No matter what it takes, I gotta seriously head it off with this guy. Then fearlessly go forth and conquer, young one. After securing a little bit of backup to the capital, the great Mitsuha shall go. that in cash? Not by wire or check? Nah, those are too easy to trace. Uh, huh? Oh, uh, never mind that. It's just that the other party insisted on a cash transaction, so I've got to deliver. skill works on the page. That'd be a yes! I can read everything! This all looks so promising. Time to dive in. Private military and security company. Go 
combat against threats, guarding dignitaries, security and logistics for facilities and trains, military education for civilians, these incredible services and more. This school feels like a cheat code, but this business is too large scale. I've got to find one that's a little better suited for me. This one seems like a good fit. No matter where, no matter when, we will fight for you. Wolf's Fang sounds tough. Sweet! I'm officially sold! <clears throat> to jump to a specific destination, I need a clear image of it in my head. But it's hard to have a clear image of some place you've never been. Mm -hmm. I know! I shall call it Operation Satellite! Go figure, they've got zero on-site images. But this should work. Latitude and longitude. Is that clear? 
Yes, sir. This way. All right, then. Let's get started. We'll have you try out this subcompact pistol, the Walter PPS. 9 millimeter, 549 grams, 8 rounds per magazine, plus one in the chamber. This should be perfect for self-defense. Okay, let's put a few down range. Right. You're going to want to wrap your left hand around your right for support. How is this? That's good. Remember not to touch the slide. Oh, I missed. That's about what I'd expect from a beginner. If they're governed by some kind of lord, that means the other world is probably a feudal society. Next, for your primary weapon, we have a Beretta 93R. Whoa. Like the Walther, this fires 9mm parabellum. It's a bulky piece and weighs more than twice as much, but it also holds 15 to 20 rounds. The Beretta is famous for its three-round burst mode. What's that mean? You can switch it from semi-automatic to fire three shots with one trigger pull. Like this. Oh. Give it a shot. If you panic and keep firing, you'll run out of ammo in no time. But it should be effective in situations where you strike first. That makes sense. Their understanding of science is still rudimentary at best. I bet they blame natural disasters and stuff on mysterious powers and old-fashioned superstitions. Like devils or witches. The revolver you have as a backup is a Smith & Wesson Model 940. It's actually super easy to hold. It uses the same 9mm parabellum rounds as the other guns. You'll want to preload some moon clips before you roll out. Plus, because of the design of the gun, it'll have a stronger recoil. In the mountains and forests far removed from civilization, you'd often find bandits who made a living by robbing traveling merchants. Hmm. Well, that figures. Bandits. I need to make sure I can keep myself safe. Killing a fellow human makes you a murderer. Yeah, but there's no reason to spare some bad guy who's actively trying to kill me. A single person's life carries more weight than the Earth. Only a moron would follow such a dumb slogan and let themselves get killed. We don't have to fight. Can't we talk it out? If you try to show them mercy, they could retaliate. Or even attack other people. In that case, their blood would be on your hands, too. We cannot forgive anyone who has strayed from the path of humanity. Those people are no better than beasts and must be exterminated. <laughs> Prepare yourselves! I will strike you all down! I won't back down or hesitate. My plan to make money by selling goods from Earth and the other world is solid. But I have to be careful how I set my prices. Hmm. I could position my goods as luxury items with a high price tag. Earth goods should fetch a nice premium. Well, yeah, that's part of it, but I'd rather not chase high volume at the expense of everything else. I wouldn't be able to enjoy life that way. We'll corner the collectible market! They'll sell out, even when the prices are sky high! Hold on, that's not the kind of business model I'm after. My only goal in this is to earn enough money to have a relaxing retirement. All I want is for us to have happy lives. The point of living isn't just to hoard money, you know? If that were the case, it would all be so boring. <clears throat> no, I really shouldn't use this for that. Tempted by greed, forgive me. Uh. Oh, good morning. Uh, hello. <laughs> Thank goodness. She's back to her old self. 
Yes, I'll take this one. An excellent choice, ma'am. Also, would it be possible for you to round down the price? Uh, uh, I can pay the entire sum in cash. So please? Hello? Is anyone there? How can I help you? Oh my, you're looking very sharp today. I'm going into battle later. Huh? Your finest dress. Make it for me. <gasps> right, leave it to me. No one's watching. Go! It's too bad they don't have satellite images here. If I could just jump straight to town, things would be way easier. walk from here. I've completed all of my preparations. All right, let's go! It's time to begin! or perhaps a letter of invitation? A letter of what now? <laughs> In that case, we can't allow you to pass. I'm sorry, but you'll have to turn around. Yeah, figures. There's no way they'd let some stranger waltz into the Count's estate. Huh. <sighs> Who are those guys? Those were the sons of the esteemed count that passed by. They make a point of regularly going out to survey the lands in their family's domain. It's very admirable of them. Oh, cool. I know what I can do. There are only two kinds of people in this world. Those who wait for opportunities and those who make them. Of course, I'm the latter. You'll need to pass through here in order to return to the Count's manor. Mm, so slow. Uh. <laughs> uh. Now! Infiltration successful. So, have we managed to confirm her condition? She doesn't appear to have any injuries. It's better to be safe. Fetch a doctor, sir. Thank you for your concern, but there's no need. Thank goodness. Right. I'm Klaus, the Count of Bosus, and the Lord of this land. I'd like to apologize to you for the mishap with my carriage. Alright, I should be thanking you for helping me recover. I am in your debt. Are you sure that you're okay? Yes, because of you. The weight's been lifted off my shoulders. Perhaps this was fate at work. Please allow me to introduce myself properly once I've rested. Of course, take all the time you need. Until then, Miss. Good. The 
battlefield is set. I couldn't believe my eyes. Pardon the interruption, my lord. I hail from the distant nation of Japan. My name is Mitsuha Van Yamano. Her attire is clearly high quality and of unknown origin. It seems she really is foreign nobility. However, well met. Won't you take a seat? I'm curious what brought you to our town. Are you traveling all alone, Lady Mitsuha? That's right. I was separated from my retainers. We were attacked by wild beasts. In the chaos, I got lost, but I was saved by the people of this land. And I was filled with gratitude at their kindness. So I had to make my way here and personally tell you about the goodwill your subjects have shown me. Incredible. Is such a thing possible? <sighs> a foreigner and a frail young lady at that was saved by my subjects. Then came here to retell the story in front of my children. What a wonderfully pleasing series of events. Truth be told, I tried to visit you earlier, but I wasn't allowed inside by the guards at the gate. Why, that's the pinnacle of discourtesy. Stefan, find out who was on guard duty. Please wait. It's my fault coming to your doorstep without an invitation or appointment. Your men carried out their responsibilities as they should have. In fact, I think they're deserving of praise. Oh, I suppose if you insist, Lady Mitsuha. She may be quite young, but she shows incredible modesty and understanding. That should have massively boosted his opinion of me. Now for step two. I can't thank you enough for all you've done. But I hope you'll accept this gift. It's something from my homeland. Please think of it as a token of my gratitude. Hmm? Um, what is this thing? It's a multi-purpose folding pocket knife. What? You're saying this is a knife? It is. Why, such exquisite craftsmanship. It's stunning. This is a truly marvelous gift. Lady Mitsuha, may I ask what your plans are after this? Hmm, right. I plan on setting out for the royal capital. That won't do. It's dangerous to travel at night. You can't leave now. Okay, got it. There's a carriage headed for the capital that leaves tomorrow morning. You should take that. Oh, um... Hmm? It's somewhat embarrassing to admit this, but with my current finances, I can't afford the carriage fee. What? She doesn't have money. Hard to believe with that expensive clothing. Also, why would she just give away something that could easily fetch dozens of gold if sold to a noble? Ah, I see now. You mentioned earlier you were separated from your companions. They must have been taking care of your expenses. That's right. I must insist you stay the night here. We can speak more about your situation later on. I can't thank you enough. Exactly is this mysterious girl. Victory! Starting today, I'm a new person! Not Mitsuha Yamano, but Mitsuha Von Yamano! From an esteemed family in a foreign nation! Forced to hide my noble birth from others, I'll make a new life for myself in this country as a commoner, playing the part of a brave entrepreneur! Yeah! This is perfect! Lady Yamano, right this way. Yes. Thank you again for inviting me into your home. Yes, we're glad that you're here. Let me formally welcome you to our estate. This is a family gathering. You don't have to concern yourself about manners or proper language. You're too kind. It's a bit late, but allow me to introduce my family. This is my wife, Iris. Mm. And my eldest son. Uh, hi, my name is Alexis. I'm 17 years old. Didn't expect that. He's younger than me. My second son, Theodore, is 15. And my youngest is Beatrice, who just turned 13 this year. Mm. It kind of feels like I have a little sister. Seriously? Do I really look younger than 13? Oh. Oh. I see. I guess it makes sense. It seems that in this world, even aristocrats don't have good tasting food. Mm. 
so, I'll just say it. Um, yes? I'm sorry to startle you, and I'm not trying to bite your head off. You can relax. Oh, of course. I know that this may not be easy for you, but I'd like for you to tell me exactly who you are, if you can. Showtime. The part about me hailing from a different country is true. And I really do come from a noble family, but now that I've left my homeland, my family's reputation and influence are all but meaningless. Mm -hmm. The reason I abandoned my home was because of a succession dispute. It all started after my father passed away from illness. And what of your mother or siblings? I'm afraid my mother passed away several years ago. Oh, only my younger brother and I were left to carry on the family name. I believed that my brother was the natural choice to become my father's successor. But there were those who insisted that I was best suited to take power instead. And once you took power, they would marry you off to a member of their own family so they could lay claim on the inheritance your father left you. It's an all too common occurrence. So, you fled and came here. That's right. I wrote my brother a note before leaving, but I knew I'd be forcibly returned if I were found, so I took the first boat I could. All I could bring were a few personal effects, along with this pearl necklace as a memento of my mother. How horrible. But I'm not. I'm not the type to give up. I'll start a new life in this place. And I'll do my best to make an honest living. How resilient. Amazing. Nailed it! If I could just sell this necklace, then I'd have enough money to start a business. <gasps> I want to sell it! Maybe? Do you have any idea how valuable that is? Sort of. It's made from genuine pearls, so it should fetch a decent price. Unless it's not worth much. Uh, that's not it at all! You see, a pearl's value will vary depending on a number of factors. As for the pearls there, each and every one of them is enormous and perfect in shape and color! And you have a matching set! I could perhaps believe if you only had one or two, but to have enough to make an entire necklace is simply unheard of. No! Oh, how could something like that be real? This necklace doesn't make any sense! <laughs> well, uh, if you want Lady Iris, it'd be my pleasure to sell it to you. <gasps> um, Iris, what do you think its market price is? <laughs> That thing is priceless! Your necklace is a one-of-a-kind treasure that shouldn't even exist! Whoever crafted this piece should have their name etched into the annals of history! If you show this to a king, I'm sure he would happily trade away his kingdom for it! Which means, if you put it up for auction... That would be absurd! It'd spark a chain of theft and murder! Anyone involved would definitely go missing! Oh crap! That's way worse than I thought! It looks like getting a cultured pearl necklace was going overboard! I figured that the going price would be a lot higher here compared to what it was back on Earth. But I should have picked out something cheaper. Or maybe even gone with some gemstones? Why did I start with something worth over a million yen? And now, if word of this somehow slips out, it'll cause a huge headache. In a perfect world, I could have the Count's family hold on to it and make sure that it never hits the market. Then I could leverage that into having him provide me with funds and support in the future. Lady Iris, couldn't we take apart the necklace and just sell the pearls? You want to take it apart? What's wrong with you? Are you trying to anger the gods? Jeez, uh, I can't win with this lady. All right, the gloves are coming off. What would you have me do? As precious as this necklace is, what I really need now is enough money to survive on my own. A person can't live on jewelry alone. Mm, I understand you're in a difficult situation. Honestly, I'd feel much more at ease if Lady Iris would take this necklace. But could we even afford to buy it? <sighs> All I'm asking for is enough money for me to open a shop in the royal capital. I'd be satisfied with just that. Are you sure about this, dear? Almost got him. Time to pull out the old tearjerker classic. Well, there's a reason I want you to have it, Lady Iris. You see... There's something about you that reminds me of my own late mother and puts my mind at ease. <sighs> Mitsuha! Yes, hooked her. <sighs> I feel so honored that you think of me that way. Lady Iris. I kind of ended up taking advantage of this nice family.
differently. But we both benefit from this arrangement, so it's fine, right? Why don't we all talk about something else for now? Plus, the children haven't gotten a chance to speak. All right. <clears throat> My dear Mitsuha, I am taken by your beautiful black hair and mysterious obsidian eyes. The goddess has blessed you and you alone with such miraculous hues. Where I come from, pretty much everyone has the same hair and eye color. <clears throat> I had never seen anything like that knife before. Do you have anything else to show? I brought along a regular folding knife as well. <gasps> Goodness, Mitsuha! Huh? Uh, crap! Not only did I show a ton of skin, but then I whipped out a weapon without a second thought! I hit them with a the double whammy! <clears throat> oh, are knife-based martial arts not common in this country? I can't say they are. I see. Where I come from, proper ladies are taught to handle knives. In fact, it's very common for women to carry a folding knife like this for protection. Oh, really? What a fascinating culture. Nice! Looks like they bought that. The edge is very sharp, so be careful with it. This is amazing. Since you like it so much, you can have it. Huh? I still have another knife on me, so I would be willing to part with this one for one gold. Yeah, sounds good. Based off the information I gathered during dinner, it sounds like one gold has the same buying power here as 100,000 yen in Japan. I'm getting ten times what I paid for, so it works out for me. Me too. I want something. Do you have any other goods? Sorry, I don't. I left my luggage with my companions. Sadly, I don't really have much else on hand. A change of underwear is all I've got. I'll take it. Alexis, sit down. Brother, please stop. Uh. That'll be five silver. They're for sale? I will give you one gold coin. Telling me she's only 13? What the heck are they feeding her? You wanted to open a shop, right? What will you sell? It'll be like a general store. So all kinds of stuff. That sounds fun. I'm planning on stocking some knickknacks, as well as cosmetics and other practical goods I think women in the capital would be interested in. Oh, wow. What a good idea. Which reminds me, the food in this world leaves a lot to be desired. One of life's greatest joys is eating! And let's not forget, the fastest way to a man's heart is through his stomach! Yep, you got that right! I was playing around with the idea of selling food. Food, you say? Hmm? That may be harder than you think. What do you mean? Recently, crop yields have been lower, and, try as we might, we still have no idea what could be causing it. It kind of sounds like the soil isn't being given a chance to recover. Huh? When you grow the same thing year after year, it can cause soil depletion. That's why it's a good idea to rotate the kinds of crops you plant each season. Gardening nerd saves the day! Behold the fruits and vegetables of my labor! I see. That could be it. You could even use mulch or manure to fertilize the soil! <sighs> Next, you have to develop a specialty product. Something that can only be grown here. If you establish a level of quality that beats everyone else, you've got a brand. Raising taxes hurts your total revenue and innovation. A single invention could earn it all back and more. Let's brainstorm an idea for an invention. Wow, I must say, listening to you talk is so much fun that I can't help but lose track of time. <laughs> oh, please, you're just saying that. It's not true. Uh, oh, you should be more careful, dear. Well, that's our Mitsuha. <laughs> Come on! Mom, Dad, I'm not that bad! Hey, Dad, what do you think? It's good, right? Mitsuha, listening to you talk is so much fun that I can't help but lose track of time. <laughs> Who wants some freshly cut watermelon? Oh, me! I want one! <laughs> oh, you should be more careful, dear. Well, that's our Mitsuha. <laughs>
survive. You poor thing. It's fine. Let it out. If it helps, you're free to call me father. And I want you to think of me as your mother. or other assistance you may need. I appreciate it, and thank you for sending attendants to accompany me. Though I really would have preferred to travel alone. Whatever, it's fine. I know you're going to make all of us proud. I will! To the royal capital! I can feel my chest swelling with excitement about the new life that awaits me! Sense. Ah, I'm finally here! Long story short, I made it to the capital, Big Brother. It's time to open up your shop. You got it! A realtor found the perfect place to start my business. The referral letter Count Bozes wrote for me really came in handy. Hmm. All right, but what about your furnishings? I hired a local craftsman to completely renovate the place. Oh, and I brought a bunch of stuff over from Earth using my ability. That makes sense. You've made it another step closer to fulfilling your ambitions, my dear sister. <laughs> I'm on my way to a happy retirement. Hello there. I recently opened up a shop next door. I brought a gift. It's a towel. I hope you like it. Oh my, thank you. <gasps> this towel is incredibly soft. I sell them at my store. I'm gonna save up 80,000 gold. Here you go. Oh, hello. Take one. Where did you get this paper from? How is it so thin and smooth? <laughs> General Store Mitsuha is officially open for business. Mm -hmm. Things are looking great. Most of my stock comes from 100 yen shops. A rotating selection of luxury items and convenience goods. I tried to pick things that people would want, but made sure they weren't strict necessities either. Though so these are for me. All right, now all that's left is to wait for some customers to show up. <sighs> it makes sense since it's only my first day open. It's not like some supermarket grand opening sale. I've got to be patient. I'm fine, it's just day two. Why haven't any customers showed up to my shop yet? Should I try changing the hours so we're open later? But I can't afford to hire anyone, so I'd have to work a ton more hours every day! What do I do? What do I do? <laughs> Finally! I'm so glad to see you! Um, pardon us. This shop just popped up recently, didn't it? Yes! It's been two days since we opened! Please let me know if you have any questions! <sighs> that was a close one. I can't come off as too desperate or they'll leave. Let's wait. Oh, what's this thing? That's a tool for scaling fish! You can use it to easily remove scales. It's a must-have if you like cooking fish. It's only for cooking fish? You scale fish at home? Uh, what's wrong with that? Huh? Ah, that's a high-powered flashlight. Pole that extends to any length for whatever you need. Super 
super glue for when you need to stick things together in a hurry. Hmm. It didn't work! They don't look like they're interested in any of my goods! Uh, hair cleanse <gasps> elixir? You got it! It's a magical elixir that not only cleans, but also hydrates and repairs damaged hair! Soap exists in this world, and it is used to wash hair, but only people with money can regularly use it. That's because it's expensive, runs out quickly, and isn't cost-effective or high-quality. But this! It's on a whole nother level! This two-in-one shampoo can be used dozens of times before running out! It'll keep your hair beautifully glossy and smooth at an amazing price! Did you just say dozens of times? Could it be? Is that true? Yep, I'd even stake the store's reputation on it! It's eight silver? You're asking a bit too much for some soap. No, they... Maybe next time. Ah! Look, I get it. I really do. I know eight silver is a lot for a commoner to risk, but if you would try it, I'm sure you'd love it. If you could... Uh, please hold on. Wait, would you like to try a complimentary sample of the elixir? Huh? For free? To be honest, I'm actually starting to get pretty hungry. Oh, right. We were only going to step in here for a moment to check it out. Hmm. No! It can't end this way. They're my very first customers. If I let them go, it could be the end of my store. They mustn't walk away. They mustn't walk away. They mustn't. Wait! I've got an idea. I'll make some food for you. So please stay. Huh? I thought this was a general store, not a restaurant. It's a grand opening special promotion. Plus, it's free. All on the house. I can guarantee it'll be delicious. The best food you've ever eaten in your whole life. I'm begging you, please try a sample. <sighs> Fine, we'll stay. We'd love to try some of your food. I promise you won't be disappointed. <gasps> Wait, how were you able to make such hot water come out of that thing without boiling it first? It's a magic wand that shoots out hot water. Hey, she's not hurting you or anything, right, Anke? <sighs> no, and actually, this feels amazing. If you think that's good, this is gonna blow your mind! Behold, the power of the two-in-one shampoo, a.k.a. Hair Cleanse Elixir. <sighs> what the...? <sighs> it's not lathering up at all! <sighs> there we go! Sorry about that. Usually you only need one pump of the elixir, but I ended up using three. There must have been an awful lot of dirt stuck in your hair. Hmm? You're saying I'm dirty? Huh? That's not it? I did pretty much tell her she was filthy. As an apology, I'll add a sample of body wash. I mean, body cleanse elixir. Wow, this feels as good as the other did. And it smells so nice. It's yours for eight silver. <gasps> What's that? It's so loud and warm. A magical hammer that summons hot wind? <sighs> My goodness, I feel incredible! Whoa, our hair really does look a lot more glossy and smooth now! Those elixirs were actually magic? Mm -hmm. I want the hair cleanse elixir! But I want the body cleanse one too! Same for me! Each of them costs 8 silver, which means it would be 16 silver for both, but I only brought along 12 silver with me! I have 9 silver, and I just have 10. In that case, why don't each of you contribute 8 silver? Altogether, you'll have enough to buy both the hair and the body cleanse elixirs. Then, you can share them with each other and everybody can get a turn. Uh, but what do we do with the other 8 silver? <clears throat> These brooches are 8 silver apiece! <sighs> it looks great on you! I'll take it! Thank you so much for your purchase! I've made you wait long enough. Let's eat! What's she doing over there? She's cooking without firewood? So miracle cleansing elixirs, magical tools, and a magic oven? Is she a witch? Uh, don't throw around accusations like that! Thanks for waiting! <gasps> Up first is some minestrone. Whoops, what I meant to say was soup. Uh, but didn't you just start cooking? Are you sure this is done? Of course. What's in this? Awesome 
seems like they liked it. Now it's time for the next dish, Buri Daikon. These packaged meals are amazing. They're super easy to make and taste great. I hope you're okay with fish. <gasps> Wait, this is fish? Huh, is something wrong with that? Oh, no, it's nothing. Really, we're fine. Mm, I don't get it. They keep reacting weirdly whenever I bring up fish. Is it taboo or something? Did I screw up? Um, no, they seem to be enjoying it, all right. Well, whatever. Let's bring out the next one. This is a risotto made with grains. I don't know if I'm just imagining things, but it kind of looks like all these different dishes have been coming out of the same pot. <laughs> Why'd you bring that up? I was trying to ignore it! I'm sure it's fine. I hope. Hmm? Next up is roast beef. This is delicious! This is beef simmered in soy sauce. I can't believe this is real. This dish is beef stew. So good! It's all so tasty! And for dessert, we have vanilla ice cream. Why does everything taste so good? And to finish off the meal right, some warm amazake. <sighs> I hope everything was to your liking. I've never had any of those dishes before. Everything is so new and exciting. Also, that pie. Uh, it was all delicious. We can't thank you enough. I'm glad it worked out. Before you go, here's a souvenir for you to share with all your friends and family. Oh, oh but make sure and take the wrapper off before you eat them. Thank you, and please come again. <sighs> I did it! I completed my very first sale after two days! I might have splurged a little bit, but I still made plenty of profit! And if those three spread the word around the city, then perhaps I might see a rush of new customers! Though if too many people come, things will get hectic and I won't have any time to take bathroom breaks! Then what would I do? <laughs> you bought from her? Um, yes. What do you make of this, my dear? Hmm. A witch, you say? If she is, she's a friendly one. Hmm. This magic elixir. Allow me to personally test it out. Uh, if money's your concern, I can pay a mere 16 silver. I'll return it to you after I've tried it once. Uh, please help yourself, my lady. Very well. Another thing. That brooch of yours. Oh, that's right. We bought it at the same shop for only eight silver. Huh? How could such a splendid brooch cost just eight silver? Uh, well, you see, even though these gemstones look real, they're man-made. That's why the price is so low. You're saying those gems are imitations? If she's a witch, she probably made it with magic. I'm more interested in the food she offered you. Is it true she served you fish? And you're sure it wasn't dried, smoked, or salted? It definitely wasn't. When I was a child, I got the chance to try fresh fish while visiting a seaside village. There's no mistaking it. All the other dishes she made for us were scrumptious, too. <sighs> Frankly, it sounds preposterous. 
It would take 10 days by wagon to deliver a fish to the capital, and a stagecoach would still need at least seven days. Even a carriage running non-stop, replacing the horses and drivers along the way, would take no less than three days. If you transported them that way, you'd have to sell each fish for more than a small gold coin to make a profit. Even worse, this method of procuring fish can only be done in the winter months. Using the snow and ice, it is simply impossible during this time of the year. It wouldn't work even if you stewed the fish and reheated it as you traveled. Not only would it take too long, but after being simmered for days, the dish would be inedible. We could spend all night conjecturing, but I doubt we'll find a solution. Just think, my lord. What if we could get our hands on never-before-seen ingredients or new cooking methods? Right. This person could be of some assistance. Find her, Marcel. Mm. Consider it done. Welcome to my shop. Mm. Feel free to take a basket if you'd like. Mm, sure. All right, I just opened and already got a customer. Things are starting to look up. He seems interested in the fish scaler. Maybe there's something to it after all. Oh, my goodness! Looks like the knife's really caught his attention. I put it there to show customers we have high-end products in stock, too. Even if they don't buy it, I want them to think, Wow, they've got some premium stuff. You're actually buying it! That's kind of surprising. But, I mean, how can you blame him? We greatly appreciate your business! It's almost all cooking-related wares. I'd bet money this guy's a chef. Excuse me, miss. I have a few questions, if you don't mind. Sure, how can I help? You have a fish scaler for sale over there? Why do you keep a tool like that in stock? Well, I figured it would be a handy item. And maybe I could sell them to housewives who are tired of descaling fish with a knife. Come now! There's no possible way a person could get their hands on fresh fish that needed to be descaled in the capital! Do you know how many days travel we are from the ocean? <laughs> That's right! No wonder they all reacted that way! Oh man, I picked the wrong things to sell! <laughs> also, could you explain how to use these? Oh, sure thing! This is a peeler. With this tool, even a complete novice in the kitchen can perfectly peel their vegetables fast and easy. This baby levels the playing field between regular people and professional chefs. Uh. This one is an hourglass. The sand at the top falls down to the bottom at the same rate no matter what. So this tool comes in handy when you need to precisely keep track of time. Uh. What we've got here is a can opener. It's used to open cans that keep food safe to eat for years. Uh. Are you okay? Yes, of course. I just have one more question. What makes this knife so expensive? <laughs> it's only natural that a blade of this quality would demand such a price. You're not looking at a die-cast children's toy. Forged using only the finest steel, handpicked by an artisan who has devoted decades to the craft of making knives. Created by a veritable ogre of steel, it's practical and yet also a work of art. It's a supreme blade. What? An ogre of steel? Take a closer look. The metal was folded again and again for strength and edge retention, with a soft steel spine for flexibility. It boasts a razor-sharp blade that's also incredibly durable. It's a knife fit for a god! To be honest, even if I can find someone willing to buy it, I'm not making a profit. I don't quite understand. Then why stock it? <laughs> Ensuring that the finest products are passed on from master craftsman to chef? There's no higher calling for a merchant. Any cheaper and artisans can't make a living. Any pricier and it becomes too expensive. Since that's the case, I don't mind taking a hit to my profits to make sure the knife finds its way to a chef. Then I'll take it! Happy doing business! By the way, miss, could I please have a word with the manager? Oh, more questions? Feel free to ask me anything. I actually bought this store when I moved to the capital, and I'm the only employee. In other words, I'm both the owner and the manager. <clears throat> this is very important. Tell me, is it true that you have some method of getting fresh fish to the capital? <gasps> so that's why he's here. Where did you hear that? From Anka and the others. Don't know them. They were the three girls who I believe visited this shop just yesterday. Huh? Those girls really did spread the word to their friends. Thank you! They were my very first customers, so I guess I overdid it a little with the samples. But looks like it paid off. <laughs> Wait, why do you want fish? From what you said earlier, 
It sounds like the people in the royal capital wouldn't be all that interested in eating fish. My name is Marcel. I serve as Viscount Reiner's chef. When the previous head chef suddenly took ill, I was asked to take on their responsibilities. And for some time, I managed to run the kitchen smoothly. But then something went wrong? Yes. The Viscount tasked me with managing the catering for Miss Adelaide's debutante ball. What's a debutante ball? Aristocratic women make their debut into society at 15. It's a party that serves as a coming-of-age celebration and an unveiling of the young lady. It wouldn't be wrong to say that the success of a debutante ball can decide one's future and standing in high society. Fumble it and you'll create a blemish on your reputation that can follow you for years. That's why noble houses will spare no expense for the dress and catering of these kinds of events. What would amount to a fortune for a commoner would be spent on a single night of lavish festivities. <laughs> Viscount Reiner's family joined the aristocracy just a generation ago, and they're determined to do everything they can to better establish themselves. There's no room for any failure or incompetence during Miss Adelaide's debutante ball. And yet, I'm racked with anxiety. The truth is, I have no experience with parties at such a scale. I know I'll be compared to chefs that serve major noble houses, even the royal palace. With my skills being what they are, I'm afraid I'll not only embarrass my lord, but his daughter as well. I just don't know what to do. I'm at my wit's end. Hmm. I get it. You're trying to astound everyone with a dish made from an ingredient that should be impossible to get in the capital. <clears throat> hmm. Should I sell him some fresh fish and call it quits? It would be easy. I'd make money while also helping him out, which is a win for everybody. But what is this feeling welling up in my chest? This sounds like it could be fun! You're in luck! This store actually happens to sell a service that I think would be perfect for you! <gasps> Anything from relationship advice to land administration, we're ready to solve your problem! As long as you got the gold, of course! Welcome, everyone! I brought my sous chef as well. Thank you all for visiting me today. I'm the owner of this general store, Mitsuha Yamano, at your service. Mm. <clears throat> of course they aren't going to introduce themselves. Tonight is supposed to be nothing more than an informal dinner. Officially, Marcel has just brought some friends of his to a local eatery to have a meal. Please come in. We can talk business after we've moved on to the next phase of the plan. The debutante ball for Miss Adelaide, the beloved daughter of Viscount Ryder. Whether or not I'm able to take on this project, it all hinges on this tasting. For today's event, you'll be sampling a wide variety of dishes. We'll be exploring all types of cuisines, if that's all right. Okay, let's begin. First up, we have a consomme. The recipe for this came from a famous French restaurant. As for me, I just warmed it up. There are plenty more dishes coming, so you can take your time enjoying them. Consultation service. Hmm. 
Trust me, I'm not gonna sell you a product and then leave you to figure it out on your own. I'll be here every step of the way for all your consulting needs. However, any expenses incurred will result in an additional charge, of course. <laughs> I accept! I'd love to contract your service. I'd like for you to provide the ingredients and to consult on the cooking for my daughter's debutante ball. Thanks, but no! Huh? Well, you see, it's not like I have a problem accepting the cooking part. But to be honest, that would be a huge waste of my talents. What do you mean? I have a grand vision for the entire event, if you'll allow me the pleasure. And what exactly did you have in mind? I have an idea for something that'll bring your daughter to the very top of high society. I think it would be best if you explained your plans to us before the ball. Of course. I would love to hold a run-through, so you can all see it then. Hmm. In that case, we'll leave everything to you, Miss Mitsuha. Thank you for trusting me. Miss hmm. Mitsuha. Would you mind if I took today's leftovers back with me? I have a lot of work to do to achieve a flavor close to this. I need to have absolute confidence I can recreate these dishes. Why not? But make sure and eat them before they spoil, okay? It's getting late, so we'll be taking our leave for today. Thanks a lot for your business! Ah! Oh, is there something I can help you with, ma'am? I <laughs> must have those magical hair and body cleanse elixirs of yours! Oh, you mean the shampoo and body wash? Actually, we have a deluxe version for nobles if you're interested in that. I'll be taking those instead, of course. <laughs> See you later, suckers! Please come back again soon! All right, everything's going according to plan! Time to start the preparations. It would be the very height of embarrassment for the Viscount if we were to run out of food during the party. We should prepare double the ingredients just in case, to make sure it all goes smoothly. Sounds good. Right. I need to make dishes that are tasty and impactful. But I also have to make sure they're easy to make in large batches. <laughs> you wouldn't think it, but I've actually got some pretty sick skills in the kitchen. Teacher, hmm? how much heat should I be using here? How is it, teacher? Teacher, could you take a look at this, too? Teacher, over here! Teacher, is this right? Teacher! Mm, I gotta say, that's got a nice ring to it! Right! The art of cooking is mastered through blood, sweat, and tears! Marcel, it's up to you to conquer these trials and become a true chef! Yes, ma'am! for the dress. Mm -hmm. Please make sure to watch your step. Come on, right this way. But first things first, put uh, this on. Uh, what's this? It's part of a magical spell. No need to worry. Now to jump worlds. And head back to Earth. Hello there! All right, all right, all right! <gasps> A trapped dead beauty in my store! Hmm? Could we get started? We're short on time. Oh, and I'm trusting <gasps> you not to show her any disrespect, you hear me? Of course, I promise I'll behave. You said she's a young lady from a foreign upper crust family, right? This way! I'll take good care of you. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Her skills are legend. Imagination has been running wild. How about this? Well, mm -hmm. or this one? Wow. Or maybe another approach? Well, there's a curveball. I assume you're gonna handle all the necessary props for that. Oh, you got it. It would be an honor for me to fulfill your request. I'm so happy I could cry. <sighs> ah. I'll go get you two some tea. Be right back. <laughs> 
She's a little eccentric, but she does really amazing work, so don't worry about a thing, Miss Adelaide. If you say so. <sighs> Father, mother, along with everyone else. And they're worried on my behalf and are doing whatever they can. Your plan has to succeed, no matter what. I'll save my things until after this is all over. Okay, get it, girl! <laughs> For the sake of Miss Adelaide, I have to pull this off!
portion of the evening, our beautiful debutante Adelaide will receive her guests. This requires a dress of the highest artistry, one acquired by yours truly. As of today, I'm no longer a fairy. Instead, I am now a lady. Everyone, I hope you'll treat me kindly. Maybe. 
some time, so get ready while I stall them. I was saving these to share with the household after the party as a reward for their hard work. But I guess there's no choice. Change of plans! Bring out all the desserts we have right away! Yes! Ladies and gentlemen, please excuse the interruption of the festivities. May I present the next course of the evening? It is an assortment of exotic foods as well as desserts. Most of those desserts are the ones I brought with me from Earth. It's the ultimate culinary weapon. Face the might of the confectionery industry of the modern age. It's so tasty. Mm -hmm. Immersion. And next, we have a very special dish known as French fries. Goodness me. The entertainment and food were top notch. Not to mention how breathtaking Miss Adelaide was. Perhaps I should put some pressure on my son. I cannot even begin to imagine the kind of wealth and influence one would need to actually pull something of this scale off. It appears that Viscount Reiner's house can't be dismissed as just another new aristocratic family. Satisfaction. 
When I asked what dishes he'd prefer, he waved about some exotic fish he tried at a recent party and how delicious it was. Nice. The food really left a deep impression on him. <sighs> if I had those ingredients, I know I could prepare even better dishes for him. I must get my hands on them. The thing is, what Viscount Reiner purchased from our store wasn't actually the fish. You see, we were hired to coordinate the party, and so we supplied it as a component to fulfilling our contract. Basically, we don't sell fish at General Store Mitsuha. You're trying to confuse me by spouting these nonsense excuses! If you don't shut up and do as I tell you, I swear! Quite the commotion today. <clears throat> Care to explain what's going on? Lady Iris with the perfect timing! A noble woman! <gasps> Mitsuha, why haven't you come to visit us yet? Oh, crap, it completely slipped my mind! Oh, I wanted to, but I've been so busy with work recently. And who is this fellow? Is he a customer? He doesn't seem like one. Oh, no, he's not a customer. Not at all. My lady! When you walked in, he was in the middle of threatening me. I didn't know what to do. I was so scared I couldn't move an inch or even call out for help. Wait, no, she's lying. Tell me, what business do you have with my daughter? <laughs> Nothing untoward, sir. I swear, I'm just a customer. He told me he worked for Baron Turk's house and said he'd hurt me if I didn't follow his orders. <gasps> Please forgive me. <laughs> I'll be sure to lodge a complaint with the Baron after this. Both of you saved me. Thank you. I owe you my life. <laughs> well, let's go back home then, Mitsuha. <laughs> and so, General Store Mitsuha was forced to close its doors. Again! Some of 
my friends back home were worried about me, so they sent over those goods to cheer me up. Unfortunately, they were a bit overeager and didn't use the proper channels. I see. That would explain why those dishes were so unusual. Exactly. We ended up going through all the food at the debutante ball, but they sent me too many trinkets and baubles, so I'm selling off whatever I don't need. That's quite the feat. How'd they manage to send it all? Apparently, uh, my friends dispatched a fleet of small high-speed fairies, one after another, and used the cover of darkness to dock and transfer the goods. I'm really struggling here. Hopefully, I'm not contradicting myself. Look, I get that it doesn't make sense, but do me a solid and just go along with me, all right? Well, needn't worry about details, and we all know how Mitsuha is. That's very true. It is Mitsuha. What is that supposed to mean? Would you prefer we dug deeper then? Oh no, it's nothing. Please forgive me. <clears throat> uh, don't take those words as an insult. Dear Mitsuha, your enigmatic nature just serves to enhance your beauty. While at the party, I found myself drawn not to Miss Adelaide, but to you as the true star of the debutante ball. My lady. Yeah, right? I saw you trying to put the moves on Adelaide. Come on, dude. You're not slick. Oh, that icy glare filled with disgust. But somehow, I love it. This guy's got a screw loose or something. Let's set that aside for now, all right? Actually, it's getting rather late, so perhaps I should start heading back. The night is still young. Let us continue our talk from before. I still have questions about man-made golems. Uh... A man made what now? Don't you remember our rousing discussion from when you last stayed the night at our manor? Whoa, did we really talk about that? My apologies, I simply don't remember at all. In that case, what of our salt production talk? Now that discussion I do recall. Your land is near the sea, right? When it comes to mass producing salt, you can use banked, channeled, or sloping salt terraces. But hmm. before you do that, and you that's how I found myself spending population. another night at the Let's Count's see. manor. Yes, any mistakes could just from there. <sighs> Man, I'm so beat. I didn't plan on it, but we talked for such a long time. Honestly, it's always so much fun getting to chat with them. Everybody is really nice, too. <sighs> yes? <sighs> Beatrice. Why would she come by so late at night? Maybe there's something going on with her and her parents. I can't imagine that happening in the Boses family. Could it be girl talk? Wait a sec. Don't tell me she's stuck over here because she's in love with me too! Jeez! Mitsuha? Mm, uh, yeah! What is it? What you said before, I wanted to make sure. Uh, could you elaborate? I don't know what you mean. Wait, really? Did you forget? But you promised that you would organize my debutante ball for me! Well, obviously, I still remember that. I was just teasing you a little. That's not very nice. Do you cross your heart and hope to die? Cross my heart and hope to die! You'll make it the best, most amazing party ever, right? Uh, of course I will. Anything for you, Beatrice. Thanks a lot, Mitsuha! So, what will it be like? Let's see here. I think that could work. How about this idea? At night, you'll take a ride in a carriage covered with decorations. Sounds fun. And then there'll be an animal parade. Wait, animals? We'll set up various exotic food stalls, like takoyak, I mean curled octopus balls, or even a cotton-like sweet confection. Octopus? Cotton sweets? Can you really eat those things? And to close out the night, we can shoot off a bunch of pretty fireworks. Fireworks? What are those? Oh, that's right. They're fireballs you launch into the air that paint the sky in flower-like patterns. It's a magic native to my homeland. That sounds amazing! Is such a thing really possible? Mitsuha, promise me right now! You absolutely must have those! Uh, sure thing. Here's hoping she forgets in the next two years. 
All right. I'm so glad we worked that out. Thank you. I got a sense of it while working with Adelaide, but I guess debutante balls are kind of a big deal, huh? Of course they are. For young girls who come from noble families, this party is the biggest event of our lives. Is it really that important? But they're only 15 years old. Is it different in your country? Here, most girls are engaged when they're 10 years old and get married when they become adults at 15. It's natural. Uh, so does that mean you're already engaged as well? Well, no. Unfortunately, I haven't received any engagement offers yet. But I'm still young. I'm sure they'll be coming in any day now. Oh, yeah. That reminds me. Even though my friend Cestalia has a lovely fiancé back home, she keeps a lover, too. Eilish Wait, you're Eilish? telling me all aristocratic Eilish? girls mature right. this early? Say it ain't so. Anyway, I want to know about you. Uh. Do you have any juicy stories about boys? Uh. Well, uh... I'll have you know I was quite popular with the boys back in my country, too. We were interested in the same thing, so they often invited me to spend time with them. I had a lot of fun telling them interesting stories. But the truth is, I wasn't terribly athletic, so I got left out a lot when picking teams. It's fine, right? Yeah. That means you weren't popular. Mm. I figured as much. For now, let's just change the subject. Anyway, that's enough about me. Hey, you know that's not what I meant. Wait, could it be that you've never gone on a date with a boy before? Oh, man, she is not letting it go. You can tell me, Mitsuha. I promise that it'll be our little secret. Just trust me. Then, uh, not really, no. So, do you have a particular type of person you'd want to date? Mm -hmm. You're asking what my ideal type is? You know, I've never really thought about this before. Anything's fine. Someone handsome? Good personality or high social status? Or maybe someone rich? Wait a second. It, it looked like you were trying to read something just now. No, you must be mistaken. I wasn't looking at anything. Don't lie to me, Beatrice. Now, tell me why you really came here. <laughs> well, you have some explaining to do. Um. We can forget about that debutante ball then. Wait, no! I'm sorry! I'll tell you! I'll tell you! Hmm. Um, you see, that one's from Brother Alex. Mm-hmm. Brother Theo gave me this set of questions. Yeah, that tracks. As for these last ones, they came from Father. Come on, dude! The three of them told me that if I could get the answers to these questions, they'd each pay me one gold coin. <laughs> Now? That's why I was wondering... Yep, I understand. And I'll do it for one gold coin. Huh? You've got your own reputation to maintain, don't you? So you can buy my cooperation for a small fee. That seems pretty fair to me. Let's do it! One thing. Don't let them know I answered your questions directly. Instead, tell them you had to work to get the information from me. <laughs> you got it! This is the perfect opportunity to mislead the Count and the boys! You don't stand a snowball's chance in hell against me in an information war. If I'm being honest, I was trying really hard to come up with ideas for how to get some real answers from you. Thanks. Mitsuha, this is great. Huh? Hold on. So, you're saying that from the moment I let you into my room, you were putting on an act in order to get me to talk? Is that it? Well, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Beatrice. When did you become such a schemer? I went home the next day. With this weather, I don't think any customers will be coming. The people in this world tend to stay indoors whenever it looks like it'll start raining. I don't think I've ever seen anyone here use an umbrella. Uh, which means I can corner the umbrella market! Welcome to my store! <laughs> this guy's clearly not your average customer. It seems like he's on the run. Firearm? Check. Knife? Check. That outfit? Could it be? You can run, but you can't hide. I know that you're in here, Eops, so reveal yourself. Die! You're wanted for killing your master. 
Surrender and come quietly. I won't be taken in so easily. Don't come any closer. <laughs> Don't just take me hostage. Be gone. <laughs> My eyes, uh, they burn. <laughs> Gets away with shoplifting at General Store Mitsuha. Stop that thief! Uh, it's dangerous. Come on, what if we lose him? Don't worry about that. You won't take another step past this point. Sorry, pal. This way's closed. Not yet. I'll just have to go through you. At this distance, a knife is way faster than a sword. Drawing my blade against the likes of you would only dirty it. Huh? I'll make you regret that! Uh, oh. Asked us to take you alive. Don't make this any harder on yourself. Oh, damn you all! <laughs> I've been waiting for something like this! A beautiful and gallant swordswoman! A hot baby faced spearman! A grizzled warrior wielding a great sword! And a quiet archer girl! This can only mean one thing! Adventurers? What do you mean? You're mistaken. We're mercenaries who take on jobs from our guild. A mercenary guild, huh? Nice! Another classic RPG trope! <laughs> Excuse me, but can anyone submit a job request to your guild? Uh, yeah. As long as it doesn't violate the law or guild regulations. Just know, our services don't come cheap. Is it possible for me to ask for specific mercenaries? Of course. I was hoping you'd say that! In that case, I'd like to hire you to do a job for me. <sighs> it's so cute! She may be a mercenary, but she's still a girly girl at heart. Hey, sorry for the wait. Why did it take you such a long time to get back? All you had to do was hand him over and collect the bounty. About that, there's been a recent uptick of suspicious fellows around the royal capital. And because of that, they've begun making a serious fuss regarding background checks and whatnot. You live alone, right? Make sure you stay careful around these parts. It's kind of you to be concerned for me. <laughs> well, not that I have that much to worry about. <laughs> and please, have some tea while it's still hot. I've never seen tea look like this. It's strange. I hope you enjoy it. Where I come from, we call it green tea. <laughs> wow, that's great. Guess it's time we introduced ourselves. My name's Finn. As leader of the team, it's a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> the pleasure's mine. Come on, all of you next. Call me Sep. The name is Grit. How do? And she's... Ilsa. A little shy, isn't she? <laughs> I suppose you're the mage, is that right? Uh... <sighs> a swordsman, a spearman, and a warrior woman. I figured a mage must be next. Guess not. With that done, what's this job you mentioned earlier? Oh, I'd like you to take me with you the next time you make an expedition into the woods to hunt or forage. Of course, I can't fight, so I'm hoping you could act as my bodyguards and support while we're out there. I'm planning to stock items used by people in your line of work, but there's only one way I can think of to learn what the common adventurer needs, and that's to act like a common adventurer and experience a little slice of danger personally. May we have a moment to discuss your proposal? Sure. So I have a few concerns. What do you think? Should we be taking a child somewhere unsafe? Even though she's young, she is a legitimate shopkeeper. Weren't we planning on our next stop being a pretty easy forest? 
I honestly can't find any drawback to this. Not only can I keep whatever we bag in the forest, we get a retainer fee too. It's guaranteed. <clears throat> Take on your request. Happy to work with you. We're leaving in two days. How's that sound? That'll be perfect. <laughs> okay, baby, let's make it rain! Borrowing these, big brother. Not a problem. Just keep your eyes on the prize. Yeah! We're here way earlier than we said. Well, we can't keep a client waiting, you know. Is that her? <laughs> Rise and shine, adventurers! She must have had some anxious energy towards our mission if she beat us here. And what's this? Those garments and gear are unlike anything I've seen. <laughs> no. She could have shown up wearing a frilly dress. This is definitely better than that. All right. More walking, less talking. Oh, sure. <laughs> She's got spirit. More than I would have expected. So, I have a weird question, if you don't mind. Yeah? What is it? How have things been going with work these days? To be honest, things are pretty peaceful in these parts. Which means Merc life hasn't been kind lately. Some unsavory types have become bandits. We've been managing to scrape by with our morals still intact by taking any odd jobs we're able to find. If we're frank, uh, the pay isn't very high, so frugality has been the name of the game for us. We really can't overstate how much of a difference your request makes. Mm -hmm. We'll work hard to be worth the expense. Don't worry about it. I'm grateful to have you all here. Great. This looks like a good place to set up. This will be our base camp. What's on the agenda for the rest of the day? First, we're gathering medicinal herbs and wild plants that'll fetch a decent price. Wild plants like yams? Digging those up sounds exhausting. Uh, hey, Crit, I just had an idea. The two of us should stick together today. Oh, I would love that. <laughs> when she and I get to the yams, I'll show off what my tools can do. Not a single wild yam in sight. <laughs> we got ourselves a good haul here. Let's head back. You shouldn't lug around that heavy gear if you're not planning to use it. Thanks, but please don't worry about me. It actually is heavier than I thought. Oh, welcome back. Next, we should set up our beddings. Aye, aye. Mm, I'll do. So 
much food. Well, I brought more than I could possibly eat alone because I figured that you could help me out with it. The only thing I'd like in return is your opinion on the quality of the products we try. Mm, you can do that. I'm starved here. To begin, this is called minestrone. Wow! Delicious! When did you find the time to cook this culinary masterpiece? I'm shocked I'm eating something so good for free. Don't be. It was cheap at the supermarket. Is this just normal bread? It couldn't be. It's so soft and it's got this sweet stuff inside. Hate to disappoint, but Anpan goes for 148 yen per five pack. I can't believe she has this much expertise in spite of her age. <laughs> I'm not a kid, but thanks. Do you feel like these would sell all right? Aside from the bread, they'll stay fresh for a reasonably long time. <sighs> Depends on the price. That said, even if it's expensive, you could make it work. Rich folks will love it. The military would, too. Are you serious? The military? Slow down, buckaroo. Things can get messy when working with the military. You'll have a never-ending supply of unusual requests. And if you show any... I'll cross that, that bridge later. Thank you for the help. Those demographics are useful. But I'll do my best to keep the prices low enough so people like you can afford them. What? Are you out of your mind? If you play your cards right, you can make a fortune. <laughs> That's no problem. I'll make enough profit off my other products. <laughs> huh. They're more taken aback than I expected. I guess they like the food. Now that we're done with dinner, may I offer you any tea? That yes, sounds great. great. I feel like a waitress. Enjoy. I'm gonna go back to my tent and start preparing for bed. <sighs> I'm glad I brought my swimsuit with me so I can take a bath. I wound up sweating buckets in that outfit. <laughs> uh, excuse me, but you really should be. Oh, come on! What are you thinking walking out like that? Look the other way! What's gotten into you? You can't flaunt your body like that in front of the boys! But I'm wearing a swimsuit, so it's okay! You couldn't even pass those skimpy garments off as light underwear! You're practically naked! Uh-oh! I think I may have messed up again. After that, they gave me a long talking to. Then I was finally allowed to take my bath. Would you like to join me in here, Grit? I'd never be half as shameless as you are. She totally thinks I'm some weirdo freak. <gasps> Beep up the doink. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts on this product. It's tasty. It's not a big snack, but it's giving me the energy I need to start my day. Awesome. Those are good reviews. After we're done eating, we're off. <laughs> yes, I'm so excited! That's what I'm talking about! Now, don't forget your objective, Mitsuha. On a hunt, everyone has a unique attack style, a preferred range, and different levels of comfort based on what you're hunting. Typically, one person won't be enough to take down major targets. That's why you need to team up for the hunt to succeed. There's a bird! How well does she know how to shoot? Sorry, you almost had it. Alright guys. 
guys, that one's going up for sale. Don't eat it. <laughs> it's cool. He's such a reliable leader. Pack it up. It's time to head back. So, did you have fun? Yeah, I had a blast seeing the adventurers like... Uh, question, can we take a break so I can answer nature's call? Oh, you want to go get more plants first? Let me join you. <laughs> That's <laughs> fine. We'll be waiting right here. Okay. Where to go? Where to go? It would be too hard to explain if I jumped back home and they saw me. Here, this will do. I'll finish up and get back in no time. Just a quick pee. Territory, or am I gonna be eating boar food? Calm down. I'm supposed to be the hunter, not this thing. In times like this, there's only one thing to do. Run away! But, uh, 
talking business. How much for the book? Not on your life! <laughs> Thank you for your patronage! Between the lighters and the other products I researched with them, profits are much higher. My savings are slowly starting to pile up. But slowly is the operative word with that. Mm -hmm. I'm curious if there's another way I could start raking in money quicker. I could try selling the magazine. Although I'm afraid that would attract more trouble than it's worth if I dive deep into that market. But I can take something from it. Regardless of the era, the arts have proven themselves necessary to all mankind! High art? That might be a cherry ripe for picking. Though I wouldn't feel stellar about upselling pre-existing artwork. That would make me no better than the average con man. Look to the public domain and imitate something. Or rather, create a work that's equal parts transformative and derivative. That would probably be all right. But I can't draw. I'm a truly terrible artist. Sculpting's out too. Wait, that's it! Yep, this'll do. <clears throat> Venus de Milo, but with her arms. Venus de Milo, but with her arms! Go! Hmm? Ah! How did this happen? <clears throat> Nike of Samothrace, with the head! Nike, with the head! My problem is I think I need to adjust something about the art. Stop thinking. Start feeling. A mermaid statue. Go! Ah! There's no way I'm leaving these disturbing statues inside my house. So they can stay here for the time being. I just remembered how bad my grades were in art. I think I can safely say this isn't my calling. I did always enjoy candy cutting whenever I was at festivals, though. Young lady. Huh? Pardon me, but how much are you asking for that? Come again? Such lovely craftsmanship. Such disgusting, ghoulish physiognomy. These demon statues act as a ward against evil. It's simply spectacular. I sold all three of them for a fair chunk of change. But how am I supposed to be happy about a reason like that? Nice. Even after some time, people keep coming back for shampoo, shampoo, and shampoo. And that success all comes down to those ladies. Alrighty, next, I've got to keep the ball rolling and break in lots of moolah. But to do that, I should try to find another hot-selling it product besides the shampoo to attract new customers and make sure they want to come back. Uh, oh, last time may not have gone perfect. <laughs> Please have a look around. Uh, uh. The general store needs to have. I'm visiting today because I've heard tell of an interesting shop with all manners of curios and oddities. Yep, you've come to the right place. Thank goodness! I was nervous since there wasn't a sign. Oh, right! Ugh. I can't believe I forgot that! That totally explains why I didn't get many customers when I first started out. How come no one has ever mentioned a sign to me? If you don't mind, I'll peruse what you have to offer. Uh, please feel free. <laughs> I'm getting some aristocratic vibes here. She carries herself with dignity and grace. And more importantly, look at her. That stunning beauty just screams, princess. <gasps> She's so precious. <laughs> this will do. <gasps> and some shampoo as well. I love a bulk shopper. And the shampoo sales strike again. Will this be sufficient as payment? Yes, that should more than cover the expenses. Huh? Paying in gold without batting an eyelid? Yet no security in sight? How bizarre. Thanks for your patience. This bag comes free with the purchase. It's adorable. I had a great time. I'll be back. A repeat customer. Be sure to stay safe on the way home. What the heck? He's bad news. A creep like that is begging to be taken away by the police. What is he doing here? Is he gonna try to rob me? I guess I just...
jump to conclusions. Hmm? Wait! He's going after that girl instead! <laughs> I've learned from what happened before, and this time I'm prepared! I can't let an aristocratic lady disappear after being seen in my store! It's terrible publicity! <laughs> stop us and it's sweet watching friends stand up for each other are they trying to get a ransom or is it human trafficking either way i'll stop it <laughs> looks like we got ourselves a feisty one <laughs> show us a brave face all you like little missy but are you honestly prepared to take someone's life <laughs> not a problem why would i even hesitate to kill lowlifes such as yourselves <laughs> Actually, I didn't kill anyone, but a pistol-type stun gun should fool them. Who the hell do you think you are? Boy, am I glad you asked. Here's a chance to use my cringy pass. One bluff, served on a silver platter. You want my name? The Messenger. That's all I'll tell you. The what? <laughs> They're not scared. They're just confused. Yeah, I'm with you. I wish I wasn't acting like this either. But I have a list of cool lines that I've always wanted to say, and this may be my only chance! You who wield your blades in the name of evil, the messenger of lightning casts judgment! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> so this isn't looking good! Evince aside, 
it was a charming locale. So may I have leave to visit it again? I'm begging you, dearest father. Miss Mitsuha. Yes? Please continue treating my children as kindly as you have been. <gasps> I'm Robin, and I'm the second prince. I look forward to spending time with you, Lady Mitsuha. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> I might be in over my head on this one. Although, if it is not too bold to ask, Your Majesty, have you found that your sight has gotten worse over the years? Yes. I find it difficult to read the minuscule text on documents. I use a lens to aid myself. <gasps> They have reading glasses? That's more advanced than I was expecting. Of course! Reading glasses use convex lenses. They were adopted much earlier than concave lenses to treat myopia. But I believe early glasses were handheld lenses or pince nez eyeglasses, which didn't stay up. Whatever. Even if this world already has reading glasses, I'm certain there's no contest with our modern Earth ones! Could I have you try some of these on for size? You put them around your ears like this. They're all slightly different, so I recommend trying a few to see which fits best. Hmm. This is correct. Oh! My vision has improved and I can scarcely feel the weight on me. Quickly, sir, you must try these on yourself. Yes, if you'll pardon me. Oh! How's that? I recall you saying that handheld lenses and glasses were inconvenient. What are your thoughts on these? They put everything else I've tried to shame, and the world is clear again. Huh. I agree. This will make reviewing the fine print on legal documents much easier. It would appear that old Saar still has a few years left in him before stepping down as Chancellor. The Chancellor? What a great audience to demonstrate my products to! His endorsement will go straight to the bank. I'm so glad I brought these glasses. If you have any other items that match the quality of these, I would be happy to pay a handsome price to my favorite general store owner. My lord, I'd love to do business. If you have the funds, then General Store Mitsua has the wares. That's a guarantee. That said, one thing that's not for sale is my integrity. Hmm. That's the only thing you won't sell. Not in a million years! Is that <laughs> so? <laughs> <laughs> She was telling me that no matter how much money I offer her, she will never serve me. Now I understand. Mitsuo, the messenger of lightning. When you have a moment, look into that girl, Sa. Yes. It's great I could sell the reading glasses to them. Wonderful, even. But why did I give myself such an embarrassing fake name? That's another page in my life's cringe compilation. I hope everyone forgets about it and we can all just let it go. establishment. Hand over the deed of this building and give up your supply chains as well. Yikes! What's his deal? Um, I think I can find some personal uses for you. Before that, could you tell me exactly who I'm talking to? I've never been so insulted in all my life! Your ignorance proves that you are unfit to be in charge here. If I must, I'll tell you who I am. The president of the royally warranted Adler Trading Company. Nelson Adler in the flesh! Whoa! The head of the Adler Trading Company! I don't know what that is, but hey, if he's the president, that probably counts for something. By stocking unusual products like fish and shampoo, it seems even a little girl like you has had a modicum of success. I'm surprised you were able to make it this far at your age. I'll be taking over now, so be sure to thank me properly. So that's why he came here. I guess the Count's authority doesn't extend to merchants for scenarios like these. Alright, if you're serious, you can come back tomorrow and this time finalize the deal. I'll ask my business partner to attend the meeting as well. <laughs> Naturally. I'll be taking my leave for now then. I look forward to your visit tomorrow. Sabine? She swung by almost 
every day since then, like clockwork. As for the name, after some careful deliberation, I decided being called Big Sister was the safer choice. Lady Mitsuha! Lady Mitsuha! Lady Mitsuha! Could we go with a less dangerous name for me?
Nelson Adler resigned, and his son took complete control of the Adler Trading Company. Whatever you do, keep your hands off General Star Mitsuha! This proved helpful in more ways than one. I wholly concur, my lord. So, what of the people in contact with Nelson Adler? The traitors whom he had leaked knowledge regarding the inner workings of the palace. We managed to capture them, but they imbibed poison before we could extract the finer details. My deepest apologies. So they elected to take their own lives. Unfortunate circumstances aside, this is certainly a great win for the palace. We are done with the hotbed of corruption called the Adler Trading Company. We could not expel them without clear cause. This was suitable pretext. We received a letter from Miss Mitsuha that was courteously worded. Though I feel we should be thanking her for putting an end to this problem. Hmm. Unfortunate that this situation can't be made public. I would commend her heartily. And yet, I am unable to celebrate knowing a human trafficking ring worked in broad daylight. It doesn't make sense. There may be more to this than we're aware. I will keep investigating these matters. Worry not, your majesty. Rest assured I remain ever vigilant. Wonderful. If your search yields no results, then all the better. The best revelation would be one of peace. Hmm. I must say I am genuinely impressed by how this Mitsuha girl saved her royal highness as well as leading Adler by the nose effortlessly to his undoing. I fully agree. There's something peculiar in how she works. I'd like to learn more about her. <laughs> I hope it's not a cold. Let's go, big sister. I want to watch more of that day by day with you. Sure, come on. Men, come forth and prepare yourself for battle this day! You ignoramuses, don't you see who is standing before you? The Shogun is here! Huh. Welcome to my store! Any customer that arrived in the middle of a DVD was met with this. A princess staring daggers straight through them. She's a bit spoiled. You've been getting too many customers lately. I wish there would be fewer. Hey, don't curse me like that! There's been a surge in foot traffic recently, so Sabine's been grouchy. I'm pretty sure I know the reason behind that. Thank you for advertising, Chancellor! The customers are walking out happy, which means I'm feeling happy and it's a win-win for everyone! <laughs> oh, another customer! Please have a look around! Uh, help me, it's urgent! Tried to hurt your family's business. An 
And that's why you came to us for help. Mm -hmm. One day, our sous chef suddenly quit without notice. It turns out he was poached by that restaurant. For a while, my father did everything he could to run the kitchen by himself. But then he was ambushed by a bunch of ruffians. And they even made sure to specifically break his dominant arm. How cruel! That's right, so we can't cook anymore. What about the restaurant? We didn't know what to do, so we've been closed for a few days. I'm sorry, but please, I'm begging you. We need your help. Always volunteer to wipe away a woman's tears. My brother would say that. Let's take stock of the situation first. Our immediate goal is to get the restaurant up and running and then we'll deal with everything else. We'll reopen your doors and start making money again. Then we'll need to find some way to stop this rival restaurant from further interfering with your family's business. Finally, if possible, get you hooked up with Anel. Does that sound about right? Yes, thank you. Understood. In that case, we'll accept your request. You can count on us. Our first consultation service in ages! <laughs> it's done! Thanks for coming. My father, Burned. My mother, Stella. And lastly, Kitchen Apprentice, Sunel. A pleasure. I'm Mitsua. Let's jump right into the matter at hand, shall we? If you ask me, I believe we should hire someone new as soon as possible. Unfortunately, as things stand, it'll be extremely difficult to fill your cook's old position. <gasps> it's unlikely you'll be able to find an out-of-work chef with both the experience and skills you're looking for. If we hire a chef lacking the proper training, they won't be able to hit the ground running. Even worse, if we're not careful, that large restaurant might send in a chef of their own who could sabotage you. What else would you have us do then? Don't worry. There's this, the Paradise Restaurant Project. Step number one of three! We'll reopen the restaurant with our current staff instead of hiring untested people and resume normal operations. Impossible! How do you expect me to cook? Sure, Anel might be able to handle the prep work, but he's still a chef in training. He could never run the kitchen by himself. And Alina can only help with simple tasks. Besides, if the three of us are in the kitchen, then Stella would be alone on the floor. She can't wait on everyone and handle the bills by herself. I understand the points you were trying to make, and I'm grateful that you listened to our problems. But there are some things in this world that can't be done. You can leave that to me. We at General Store Mitsuha specialize in this kind of thing. <gasps> Master Burned, could you tell me the main reason why it takes years of training for an apprentice to become a full-fledged chef? You see, it's because they must build a strong foundation by observing their master and practicing the techniques on their own. That's the thing! <gasps> Since no one takes the time to properly teach them, apprentices have to devote countless hours from their busy schedules to hone their skills slowly through trial and error. Isn't that right? Mm, yeah, but that's just the way all chefs get experience. So what would happen if you were to watch over him all day, teaching him everything you knew for a single dish? <laughs> Whatever he makes doesn't have to be exactly the same, right? Wouldn't it be good enough for him to get 90% of the way? Mm -hmm. The most difficult part is perfecting the last 10%. If it's just 90, then perhaps Anel could pull it off. <laughs> In that case, please drill all your cooking know-how into Anel and Alina's heads over the next week. <sighs> Personal training from the master? It'll just be me. But if we go with your suggestion, Stella will still have to handle the front of the house by herself. Don't worry. I've already accounted for that. <laughs> Double checking. And now and I ending up together is included in your plan, right? <laughs> Rest assured, if we fail here, I'll go down with the ship. What? That doesn't reassure me at all. Yamino Cuisine, 
A mysterious and delectable fair that suddenly became the talk of the capital's aristocratic circles. The most exquisite of delicacies. The most sublime of tastes. Countless chefs have tried to capture even a morsel of that fabled flavor. But it's said all who've attempted it have failed. Except for one man who directly inherited his skills from the founder of Yamano Cuisine. According to the first disciple himself, Yamano Cuisine encompasses more than a single dish. Using Yamano's skills, all that one makes is Yamano Cuisine, see? Whoa, sounds like some really good grub. Is that delicious? Mm. I'd love to try it someday. It's too bad we'll never get to eat food like that. You're in luck, because he can. Over at the Paradise Restaurant. Ah, Paradise Restaurant. Right, one order of omelet rice and one order of udon. I can't believe it's really Yamano cuisine. Goodness. Wow, looks even better than the rumors say. Service, one Hamburg steak. Got it. After a week of intensive training, today is Paradise Restaurant's grand reopening. Mm. The rumor spread just like we planned. This is amazing for our first day. It's time to move on to the Paradise Restaurant Project Step 2 of 3. To recoup the losses from our closure, and then find a way to generate a steady source of income. We went with Old Reliable, a word-of-mouth strategy. We asked a bunch of people for help and had them go around spreading rumors that you could eat Yamano cuisine at Paradise Restaurant. Although we don't want to go overboard here, it'd be bad if we got swamped with diners. The goal is a steady stream of revenue, not a flash flood. Like the general store, the Yamano model is all about high margins and low volume. An accessible luxury whose audience is wealthy. Those looking to splurge and celebrate a special occasion are people who just want to show off. That said, we've got some cheaper items too. Things that can be made quickly and easily with little to no overhead, like Udon. You two have been great. Thanks so much for the help. <laughs> I submitted a request to have these two work as waitresses on a seven-day contract. How are things? You okay? I'm sure it wasn't what you had in mind when you got into mercenary work. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. To be honest, we were getting burned out from all the hunting, so this is a nice change of pace. Besides, adding up the request fee with our daily wages from the restaurant and even tips from some of the nicer customers, it's definitely worth our time. Not to mention all the delicious free food we get to eat. It's the best. Great! I'll be in the kitchen making sure everything's still running smoothly. If you need anything, don't hesitate to come get me. There's someone suspicious. That's the owner of the restaurant we mentioned. I see. They're serving Yamano cuisine. How could this be happening? Despite his schemes, the restaurant's business is booming. Just look at his face. He's super mad. Perfect! Now! We're on to the final step! Thwarting the enemy's expectations and having him dig his own grave. He's good in panic, so we'll leave him alone for the time being and see what he does. He's bound to start his meddling again. The goal for step three of the Paradise Restaurant Project, inflict damage to ensure the enemy doesn't want to intervene ever again. Well, it all depends on what move he makes first, of course. What? You went to Paradise Restaurant? I'm so jealous. Yamano cuisine is so tasty. It's been five days since we reopened. One omelet rice, please. And udon, this too. This hamburg steak? It's great. They're dressed as commoners in order to keep up appearances. But a handful of our guests are definitely nobles. If a bunch of bigwigs become regulars here, it should be enough to protect us from any meddling. It's the perfect cover. Although, isn't that a few too many customers? Well, it should be fine. Things are running smoothly in the kitchen. They've gotten pretty efficient. It really has been troublesome. Mm -hmm. I'm still waiting on a number of shipments to arrive by carriage. From what I hear, there were monsters spotted near the border. I'm sure that's why. Oh, yeah. Monsters. I pretty much forgot they exist in this world. So they're common enough to slow down distribution channels. And there was that gang that tried to kidnap Sabine. That's kind of scary. Here's the omelet rice you ordered. Speaking of, she's been coming by every day to hang out. <laughs> I mean, to help out. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, <laughs> as long as the customers are happy, it should be fine. <laughs> Come on, girl. <laughs> what the heck is she jotting down in that notebook? She's starting to freak me out. Anyway, everything's going great so far. If we keep this up, the restaurant will be back on track within a week. Everyone! <sighs> What's wrong? It appears that business is flourishing here at Paradise Restaurant. <sighs> that has nothing to do with you. Oh, but it does, because I'm here today to perform my duty as an upstanding citizen and put an end to your nefarious deeds. What are you saying? Don't play dumb. I even have royal guards accompanying me to bear witness. There's no hiding the truth. Looks like he brought along some muscle to bolster his direct attack. If you could just explain yourself, I'd be more than happy to prove my innocence. Look there! That's indisputable proof! That? You claim to serve the Yamano cuisine everyone's talking about, but the truth is you're swindling your customers. You fraud! Guards! Arrest this charlatan immediately and throw him in jail for his crimes. Hold on. Do you have any proof that the Yamano cuisine we serve isn't genuine? Got you. I knew you tried to weasel out of this with an excuse, so I brought an expert with me. The inheritor of Yamano cuisine. He's the leading authority in the city. And the head chef of Viscount Reiner. First disciple, Mr. Marcel. Oh, it's here. Go on, Marcel. Enlighten them. Sorry, but I'm afraid I can't make any judgments without tasting the dishes first. Perhaps if I were allowed to sample some of your offerings. Right. You have a point. Mm -hmm. Very well, then. I'll have some soup, this omelet rice dish, as well as this so-called Hamburg steak, if you don't mind. Marcel hasn't heard of these dishes. That proves it isn't real Yamano cuisine. Thank you for waiting. Whoever made these dishes, come forward! All right. This rundown restaurant is as good as mine. What's all the commotion? You're being so loud. Unacceptable! What is the meaning of this? I thought so. How could you? You taught the cooks of this restaurant how to make all these exquisite dishes, but you never showed them to me, teacher! <laughs> you had this coming! <laughs> Wait, teacher! That's impossible. The legendary founder of the fabled Yamano cuisine is actually this little girl. <laughs> well, this food's meant to be served one portion at a time. For the debutante ball, we were trying to feed an entire party. Of course it'd be different. Ah, oh, I see. Still, if only I could use these recipes to serve my lord and his family. Right, then do you want to help out in the kitchen? I could teach you while you work. Truly? I'd love to. Thank you. One more thing. Think you could give them some cooking pointers? After all, it wouldn't be wrong to say that the three of you are fellow disciples. Certainly. <laughs> you there. What are you still doing here? So this is the restaurant where we can eat Mitsuha's cooking? Ah, Mitsuha! Hi, Beatrice. Wait, if she's here... Goodness! Hello there. Miss us? It's the entire Bose's family. Huh? Nobles? I hope you've been taking good care of my daughter. Oh, of course. Father, you made it! Your Royal Majesty, please, allow us to escort you. Mr. Royal Guard, a little while ago, Burned was attacked by some thugs, but they didn't seem like ordinary ruffians. Could you investigate it? Royal guards, bring him to the castle. Yes, yes. right away. <laughs> that should put an end to their interference here once and for all. A restaurant frequented by nobles with the king himself dropping by and the princess working as a waitress? You can't find a place!
place like that! No way! Uh, it's right here. That's crazy. Who could have predicted such a thing would happen? Certainly not me. Although this ending does seem like overkill. I just hope that restaurant owner doesn't receive capital punishment. But Come <laughs> on! Mitsuha, I want to finally try some of your food! Yeah. I'd like some as well. Same here! I finished my shift moving tables for today. Could you make me an omelet rice, big sister? Yeah, sure thing. I'll just have the king pay me later. Hold on. You don't think you're done with the job, do you? <laughs> but I saved the restaurant! What happened to hooking up with an owl, huh? Did you forget? Oh, I definitely did. Excuse me, your majesty? Mm -hmm. Any chance I could trouble you for a little matchmaking help? What do you think you're doing? Come on now, Mr. Bird. It'll be fine. Don't think of it as losing a daughter, but gaining no, a No, I son. don't mind taking him into our family. Why would I try to stop you for a mundane reason like that? Uh, really? So what's the problem with it, then? What's taking her? I can't wait. I'm so hungry. I'm famished. Me too, huh? Hurry up! I'm hungry! Yeah, move on! Not too bad, I'd say. I didn't end up earning much money this time around. Well, it makes sense, since I was hired to help fix their failing restaurant. After paying for Grit and Ilse's help and deducting the expenses, this is all that was left. But I had fun, so it was worth it. This single gold coin's more valuable than any amount of money I could make by ripping off rich folks. Along with making gold, I'm also creating memories and meeting so many wonderful people. I really hope Colette is doing all right. Huh? I want to read it! Oh. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing great! <gasps> Just look at her. Although the wagon was late, that's quite strange. That's true. Apparently they took the long way here, since it's been so dangerous lately. exist in real life. You think she discovered a new species? Who knows, but whatever they are, they're clearly rare. <laughs> this mystery rabbit's good. I bet you'd make a pretty penny selling it. Really? Maybe I could hire the guild to gather more. for inviting me today, Captain. We don't have any big jobs coming up. So I thought this was a good time to let loose. You would never guess they're professional soldiers. They all look so normal. Just because we're in this line of work doesn't mean we love war. <sighs> it may sound strange, but nothing beats peace and quiet. Things like eating good food and enjoying life. Is that so? <laughs> I have to agree. Where have all the customers gone? If this keeps...
keeps up, by the time I finish earning 80,000 gold, I'll be old and gray and in my 70s. Welcome. Thanks for coming today. Hooray, my first customers in forever. Are you guys looking for anything in particular? A an good insulation mat. mat. Uh, like I said, uh, an insulation mat. No, uh, an anywhere tent. Oh, I see. You want a tent and a mat. Well, the problem is, uh, we don't have the budget for both. Mm, right, so I'll sell you both of them anyway. <sighs> However, next time you visit my store, you have to bring your fellow guild members along with you. If you bring one person, you get 10% off. Half off if you bring five. That way you can buy both items and stay within your budget. Seriously? Uh-huh. We'll definitely bring them. We'll get the whole guild to come. Then we can buy this fire starter, stove, and rations. Another sale? We sure lucked out. You can this say that again. This goes against my high margin, low volume policy. But any business is better than no business. With this method, customers will generate even more customers. I'm gonna call it Operation Give Discounts and Rebates and Get Gold Back. I'm gonna rake in the gold with this. Yeah! <laughs> Here are the results of my investigation. So you couldn't uncover any information? That's right. Seems she suddenly appeared one day in Count Bozes's territory, slaying a pack of wolves by herself, and saving a village girl. Afterwards, she made friends within the Bozes household, and then opened a store in the royal capital that sells products of unknown origin. They're mysterious, but quite effective like those reading glasses. <laughs> Indeed they are. She's armed with a remarkable knowledge and the ability to single-handedly organize a debutante ball. With how much she's accomplished in a short time, it's hard to believe that she was just an ordinary noblewoman. Well, she is the messenger of lightning, and she bears no ill will toward my kingdom. Yes, sire. She's even been taking on various jobs to help others. And above all, when she saved her royal highness, it led to the eradication of that human trafficking ring. Hmm. Yes, Sabine is awfully fond of her. I don't doubt her sincerity. Well, things should turn out fine. In fact, perhaps it might be best to try to curry more favor with her. It couldn't hurt. May even help. She certainly is a fascinating young woman. Yes. Fascinating indeed. Goodness. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, there's a more urgent issue, and it's gathering along our borders. Come look at this. Welcome to General Store Mitsuha. Big Sister Mitsuha. My father requested that you come to the palace. He said it was an important matter. This is going to be so fun! You're the first friend I've ever had come over to play. <laughs> They've already reached the Akaniyo territory. That's within spitting distance of the capital. We must defend the city with our lives. Yes, the very kingdom is at stake. The mood is so different from last time. Everyone's so frantic. We are at war. Huh? The signs were all there. They've been eyeing our fertile farmlands for a while. The Alder Empire. However, our intelligence suggests that their military isn't strong enough to guarantee a successful invasion. So what could they be thinking? Miss Mitsuha, I'd like for you to take Sabine and seek asylum in another country. Huh? No, father. I don't want to hide away while everyone else defends the kingdom. It's just to be safe. You'll be able to come back as soon as the threat has passed. In no time, the Imperial forces have driven away our provincial armies and are quickly closing in on the royal capital. Hold on, I don't get it. How are the troops at the border defeated so easily? It seems a number of nobles overseeing the border betrayed us. <gasps> Ordinarily, they would keep the enemy at bay, which would buy us enough time to gather and mobilize our troops. Even more concerning, it seems that the Imperial Army has enlisted the help of monsters as well. <sighs> How could the Alder Empire possibly recruit these monsters when they don't even speak the same language? It's utterly beyond comprehension. We've issued a decree across the kingdom, but it doesn't look like we'll be able to gather enough troops in time to save the capital. Keep my daughter safe. I beg you. 
Sorry, no thanks. <gasps> the royal capital is my home, and it's where my shop is. I would never abandon it to save myself during its hour of need. Don't be stubborn. Hmm. So, Lady Meets were the messenger of lightning. <laughs> I'll be the one to protect my own shop. And if anyone tries to take it from me, I'll blow up the whole building and them along with it. Blow it up? In other words, if it comes to it, I'll call lightning down and wipe the store off the map. I won't hesitate. Uh, uh, Obviously, I'm not going to do that. Duh, I jump worlds and bring the entire store with me to Earth. Then, when it's safe, I just bring it back to this world. So I can't do as you ask. It doesn't look like we'll be able to gather enough troops in time to save the capital. It may sound strange, but nothing beats peace and quiet. Things like eating good food and enjoying life. to let you pass. Go ahead. Uh, you're gonna let me in just like that? I wonder where Sabine could be. Miss Mitsuha, how fortuitous. Uh, you came at the perfect time. Ah, uh, Chancellor, do you know where Sabine is? We'll find her later. For now, please follow me. Uh, the enemy is 20,000 strong, along with 3,000 goblins, ogres, and other monsters. Our army had 2,000 men, but the front line has likely been decimated, so the real number is even less. A war council? Things don't sound good. Mitsuha! <laughs> oh. <laughs> don't approach me from behind. No matter who you are, I'll shoot you. That's just the way I've been trained. Man, you can't imagine how long I've been waiting to bust out that one-liner. But the right opportunity to use it never came. Thanks for your sacrifice. Uh, sure. You're very welcome. <laughs> Hold on a second. What are you doing here? I'm representing my father on the council. My lady. The Bose's territory was summoned too? That's right. Father went back home with mother and the rest to get his troops ready. I'm here to act as a liaison in his stead. Makes sense. He's the first son, after all. Chancellor, who is she? <clears throat> the one and only Miss Mitsuha von Yamano. So that's her. I see. Wait a second. He said the one and only. Have they been talking about me? Who is he anyway? He's the Commander-in-Chief, Marquis Ablinger. So he's the big dog around here. As of now, the enemy will be here by tomorrow night. It's likely that they will begin their assault at dawn. Our only option now is to defend the castle to the end. Things are that bad? Looks like I really will have to evacuate Sabine to Earth. Very well. I'll announce the assigned encampments now. Harold! Pardon me! Wait! He shouldn't be here! I have an urgent report, sir! Uh. Glad to see. 
I pass as your knight. <sighs> what are you talking about? You totally fail. I mean, come on, look, I still got hit with one of the bolts. There's no way you pass. <laughs> that said, you're not disqualified. I can tell you tried. You'll have to do better next time. <clears throat> next time, huh? You got it. Sounds good. I fear there won't be a next time. A wound like that will only fester. This young man will suffer a painful death unbefitting of his bravery. <laughs> I was trying to be careful with my actions, you know? I didn't want to introduce technology that was too advanced, since doing so could lead to unpredictable outcomes. And though I went overboard here and there, I did it. But look where that thinking got me. I almost ended up dead, and even worse, I couldn't protect those close to me. I'm done. I'm done with being careful. I'm going to hit the Alder Empire with absolutely everything I've got. I'll show them the true meaning of fear. Right, Marquis Ablinger and Chancellor Saar. I have a favor to ask of you both. From this moment forward, don't let anybody enter the courtyard. Some big shot biologist from Harvard University. He wanted to take a look at one of the rabbits we had. Good luck with that. We ate him already. If he wants the bones, he's welcome to dig through the trash. That's true. Huh? Huh? But how? There's no time to explain. This man needs to be treated right away. Medic, now. Hmm. I've got him. This way. Mas Alexis, Kianigia, Iscus Lubium Iganatis. Iachum, Imiagakia. What language was that just now? I'll explain. Let's step outside. He's from another world? What was your motto again? Call us and we'll be right there, even if it's at the ends of the earth. What's the problem? That's going a bit beyond the ends of the Earth. I'd like to hire out the entirety of PMC Wolfsbang to take on a force of 20,000 as well as monsters. Wait, monsters? They're in the other world. <gasps> There's a minimum guarantee of 40,000 gold, plus bonuses based on performance. You should have led with that. <laughs> Dang, it's a tempting offer. Does that mean you'll accept the job? No thanks, kid. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, it's a fun story. But we can't go around chasing monsters. We're trying to run a professional outfit here, you know? Hey, what are you doing? <laughs>
there's a tunnel ahead. We won't fit. Let's go on foot. job for you. Please help me protect the caravan. <laughs> All right, then. I accept. We have to buy them as much time as we can. <laughs> we need to pick our moment carefully. Copy that. Fire! It doesn't matter how many I kill. 
kill, they just keep coming. Thanks for waiting for me. I hope you brought back some weapons. Cover me, okay? Hey, wait. <laughs> Got 60 men, the entirety of Wolf's Fang.
Everyone's here. Wolf's Fang is ready. Embark! <laughs> that was quite the speech. You'd make one hell of an agitator, you know? To be honest, I stole that opening from a recruitment ad for Antarctic Explorers. But I'm glad it worked. Good thing they aren't questioning the mission or prying too deeply into my identity. Wolf's Fang makes a point of never digging into their clients' private lives. They're professionals. Just like Sven and his party. Seems God will be fighting with us for the first time in ages. God? Our guardian deity. Mm. And he's brought an angel with him, too.
super cringy name from my past? No, I'm just hearing things. That's definitely it. Those wagons? What are they doing? Sacrificial pawns to buy time. They're trying to pull off something tricky. I might as well play along with their little game. Hey, send the negotiator. Let them know our terms. Sir! Someone's heading our way. Snipers, get ready. Target the enemy rider charging in on horseback. Roger. Behold, I am a nobleman of the glorious Alder Empire. Hear me. You are in the presence Aim of... Aim for his right shoulder. Fire. On the sea. Ah. Ah. No. Oh. Get him in. <laughs> Intentionally wound your enemy so that extra resources have to be spent trading him. I assume that's the strategy we're going with. It's smart. That's right. They don't know about guns, so this should cause a lot of havoc in their ranks, too. Roger that. Out of the vehicles! Prepare to engage! How dare you attack our envoy! Have you no pride or dignity, you barbarians? I have a message for the Imperial troops who have come to huh? die! What'd you say? How... How come we can hear you from over there? You're just bandits who have joined forces with the monsters to kill innocents and plunder our kingdom. You have no right to talk of things like pride and dignity. You have angered the gods. No matter how bravely you fight, you of the Empire will not find peace in these lands. You soldiers of the Empire will never ascend to the heavens. Do you want to know how I can say that with such confidence? It's simple. Because you've made me your enemy! Prepare to face the wrath of the gods! All light infantry and sniper units aim for the enemy's arms and legs. Fire! God! How are they doing this? Hey, Missy. We've got eyes on the monsters. They're split up into groups, and each kind looks to be accompanied by a human. <sighs> Maybe they're monster handlers like the one before. Likely. Then take them down, one by one. <laughs> Huh? What? Why? All the monster regiment officers are down, sir! Now the monsters aren't obeying our orders! Impossible! Do you mean to tell me all the sacrifice and intense training we went through to establish the monster regiment was pointless? Force the monsters to charge! Let them wreak havoc among our enemies! Send in the foot soldiers as well, since most of them are expendable peasants anyway! What are you waiting for? Go before they attack again! Pepper the monsters with a round of light machine gunfire. Afterwards, only shoot at the troops who look like professional soldiers or officers. So, we're ignoring the other soldiers and monsters? Without their handlers, the monsters will lose trust in the Empire's forces and they'll think they've been tricked. We'll send them right back towards the Imperial Army. And they'll gobble up any soldiers that get in their way. We'll break the wills of these conscripted peasants. This will instill a deep anger and hatred for the Empire that they won't ever forget. Not to interrupt, but can I say one thing? Yeah, what's up? You're creeping me out here! Anyone giving orders, wearing flashy armor, or riding on a horse, make sure you take them all out! Don't kill us! We were dragged here against our will! Surrender! Please stop! I know it sounds a bit counterintuitive, but massacring your enemy isn't the best way to win a war. In fact, only a few wars end with most of the soldiers dying. Once an enemy loses half its forces, it's done for. Usually, defeat comes even sooner than that, at just 30% dead. At that point, it's very likely they'll concede. To make things easier, we'll crush the career officers who are the heart of their army. Yes! Their front line is starting to falter! Um, what are those? The 
Demon Squadron is here. This will turn the tables. The ultimate weapon created after years of sacrifice and effort. By strapping soldiers to trained wyverns, we've managed to form the world's first airborne cavalry. They'll rain spears down onto the enemy's forces and bypass the gates. Then the wyvern's powerful claws will tear open a hole while keeping our enemies at bay, allowing our troops to rush inside. It's perfect! <laughs> to think I get to witness this historic moment with my very own eyes! Crap, this is bad! Don't worry about a thing. We'll handle it. Cause God's on our side. Yes, behold God's glory! It all goes back to when Wolfsfang was still a nameless team of mercenaries. We had been contracted out by the government's army to bring up the rear during one of their operations. As mercenaries, we were seen as expendable, and they ended up using us as decoys so they could escape. We quickly ran out of ammunition and supplies, and just when we thought we were done for, God descended upon us. An abandoned half-track mounted with an old 20 mil auto cannon. It's thanks to God that we were able to make it out and survive to this day. Our guardian deities, fangs tear through air and ground forces alike. They're the reason we're called Wolf's Fang! Fire! <laughs> what? It all happened so fast. The culmination of years of blood and sweat and tears. That was the Alder Empire's ultimate weapon. And... It was blown to pieces! <laughs> well, how'd you like our god? You've turned me into a believer. I figured you'd say that. We got ourselves another convert. So, is it all over? Yeah, seems so. <laughs> Not cutting it. I expected as much. 
have already returned to their country. I see. I had wished to give them my thanks. In that case, I'll extend our gratitude to you in their stead. Your Majesty. I'm back. Business is super slow again. Well, it makes sense since everyone was in a panic because of the invasion. The shipments that were backed up because of the war are making their way out all at once now. <laughs> no rest for the weary. Thanks for your hard work. Huh? Wait! This one's from Colette! Dear Mitsuha, how are you doing? Dad said that the Alder Empire had invaded the kingdom and were marching towards the royal capital with a huge army of monsters. Please stay safe. She was worried. Promise me you won't do anything dangerous. <laughs> a little late for that. Put me down for five thousand. 
Marquis Ablinger. Twenty-five hundred. Three thousand. Two thousand gold for me. Hold on. If this keeps up, I might actually hit my goal. We'll give two thousand. One thousand two hundred. I'll put up fifteen yeah. hundred. <laughs> Everyone, I just can't thank you enough. Chancellor Saw, I want as much gold as possible withdrawn from the royal treasury. As you wish, sire. Thank you. You have all helped greatly. There's one more thing I'd like to ask of you. Uh, anything at all? Yes, sire. I would like to be granted citizenship in your country. <laughs> in case you didn't know, I had to leave my home and ended up in your country as a wanderer. But after living in the capital, I've fallen in love with this place. My wish is to become a citizen and call your great kingdom home. To be perfectly honest, I had thought you were already a citizen of the Zerglis kingdom. Yes, in spirit. But I possess no legal grounds to call myself a subject of your majesty. I see. Then in that case, allow me to bestow upon you undeniable proof that you are a citizen of this kingdom henceforth. <laughs> You put in the work to protect the kingdom? Now reap the rewards! If I officially gain citizenship, I'm entitled to the government's protection. It'll make doing business easier. Who knows? Maybe I'll come up with a new way to make money. You're here by a Viscountess. Mitsuha von Yamano. <laughs> All right. Seems you're all paid up. What do you mean you sold the dragon fang? Yeah, some big shot teacher from Harvard really wanted it. The professor took one look at the tooth and declared that there were infinite possibilities for new research and development based on it. After that, he wouldn't take no for an answer. But I'm still kind of worried. What if they make a big fuss about where you got it? I didn't tell them about the other world, and there's no way they could figure it out. That's good. If you started talking about other worlds, things would get complicated super fast. He and I worked out a little cover story where he just accidentally synthesized it in his lab. He was so excited he let me keep the patent rights. I'm pretty much guaranteed to make a fortune. That's great for you guys. It sounds like you found an out from all that dangerous mercenary work. Nah, we'll keep at it. Huh? Come on, it's the only thing we're any good at. Plus, giving us all that money and extra free time? That's a recipe for disaster. I see. Does that mean I can count on your services if they're needed again? <laughs> yeah, why not? All right! Mitsuha Cosplay Power Makeup! Attention! We will now begin the title conferral ceremony. Mitsuha von Yamano, I grant you the title of Viscountess. <sighs> Viscountess Yamano. Yes. I have a request for you in regard to Sir Alexis's title. Since he cannot be present here today, would you accept it on his behalf? and kindness will be etched into my heart. Thank you, Your Majesty. I will live up to this title as the head of a glorious new noble house. <laughs> Theodore will succeed my father's title of Count. But wouldn't that make your younger brother a higher rank than you? That's no problem. By the time my father retires, surely I'll have risen to become a Count too. You can count on that, my lady. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Mitsuha Yamano has become a noble in another world! 
wonder if the war's over yet. Apparently it is. Nothing beats peace and quiet. <laughs> no kidding. Mitsuha, I hope you're all right. There you are. Hmm? Hey, Colette. I came to see you. You're here, Mitsuha! Ah! the monsters off. One thing led to another and the Empire's army all gave up. You did a whole bunch of stuff, huh? So cool. That's right. And then, as a reward for my achievements, the king made me a Viscountess. I guess I'm a noble now. It's a little weird to think about. <gasps> but... <laughs> anyway, the land I'm in charge of is a bit more than a half day's walk from here. It's pretty close. Oh, I see. Yeah, congratulations, Lady Mitsuha. Uh, something wrong? I don't want to be rude. You're a Viscountess now, and so I... Oh, Colette. Oh. I may be a noble, but nothing's changed. I'm still the same Mitsuha who you saved back then. That's why I don't want you to treat me any differently from before. Thank you, Mitsuha. Wait, I wasn't a doggy yet! Please let me go! <gasps> you weren't? <laughs> so, Colette... What do you think about working for me? Uh? As my potential future retainer, you should learn about all sorts of things. Well? Uh, can I? Of course you can. Yes. Really? A girl from a country village getting to work for a noble house? That's a success story if I've ever heard one. Please take good care of her. Yeah, I'm going to take full responsibility for her. You can rest assured that Colette's in good hands. So this is my territory. There are people who call this place their home. I owe it to them to do a good job managing and developing it. That being said... This isn't the end. My fight to save 80,000 gold in another world for my retirement has only just begun! <laughs> 